Hello, and welcome to this tutorial of the Elementi software. Today we'll be covering the click-through widget. The click-through widget can be used to display a video, image, or some other type of media for a duration of time before going back to your static default content by simply clicking a navigation button on the screen. Before we set up our widget, let's import in a video that we're going to display. So I'm just going to go to my file explorer and I'm just going to drag and drop this video down into my browse panel on the bottom left. Next, let's bring our widget in by going to the widgets tab on the bottom left, navigating down to interactivity, double clicking in and finding a click, click through widget. Once we found our click through widget, we can drag it to the preview panel or the edit panel. It's completely up to you. This will add it as a layer. And what you'll see are two buttons, button one and button two, and on the top right, an X. When I click one of these buttons, my media, playlist, whatever you add will display in this whole space bound by this dotted these dotted lines so you'll see these lines going around this box now I'm gonna click a button and play a video so and I want it to be full screen so I can right click on this widget from within the preview panel select fit screen and I only need one button so if I double click on to, into my click through widget to the right in the edit panel, I can now select my buttons from within the preview panel and right click on them and delete them. I can also delete this X if I want. If I click into my buttons, I can also rename them. So I might want to rename this one to say something like click here to see a video. Once I do this I can hover over it and move it around if I want. I can also hover over these arrows. So when I click this button my video is going to display in full screen because we made the widget full screen in this space. So what I'm going to do now let's go to the right to the mappings tab inside of the edit panel you'll see two columns here button and page button is just the name of our button um, we can also double click on this blue gear to change the way the button looks um, under page this is very important because this is what's going to display when we click our button so we had a um, video that we brought in so I could go down here to the bottom left into my project find my video which I believe is this new mission statement and I just drag it over page one to the right so now I've associated this button to this video if I go to the preview panel and click on this edit test button right here I can actually test my interactive widget so if I click on that button inside the preview panel it's going to play my video. Now when this video is done, you'll see that it'll switch back, stop playing my video, and you'll only see our static default content. So as I mentioned, this is great in situations where you just want to click a button and see a video and then switch back to your default content. Uh, more information on this click-through widget can be found on our support wiki um, at support.spinetics.com. If you search interactive widgets in the search bar in the top right, it'll take you to a page um, where there's tons of information on this um, if you're looking for it. Thank you for watching and have a great day.